Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to work on any collaborative project using uh, Git and uh, one uh, cloud service. There are several cloud services. Among them, uh, these three are very popular. Dropbox, Google Drive, and uh, OneDrive. For sharing, we'll use uh, Dropbox. Okay. Here, I have one folder which contains uh, one project. Okay. This project I will share with author B. So first we will save this folder in Dropbox. Open Dropbox. Paste here. Green tick means this folder is synchronized uh, with the Dropbox. Now we can share this. Press right click of the mouse. Share. Write here email ID of that person with whom you want to share. Here inside this box, you can write any message and then press at share. Once that person with whom you have shared this uh, folder will save this uh, folder in his system, then he can uh, view and edit our uh, files. Okay, each file inside this folder he can view and edit. For example, if I make some changes in this uh, document, then uh, that person easily can see the updated file. Okay. For example, if I remove this and uh, compile this file, then that person will be able to see uh, this file, this updated file and uh, this updated PDF file. It may be very difficult for someone to remember uh, what you have added or removed uh, in your document. So uh, for that, uh, we can use a Git uh, program, open Git, create new repository, go to Dropbox and then select this folder, create. So once you finish your work, just open a repository in your Git and then press at stage change S. Yes. Write initial commit message and then press at commit. All right, and close this. I'll do some changes. Compile this file. In this case, your uh, co author only will be able to see this file and this file but uh, he will not be able to see what uh, you have removed. We will open git again. Open recent repository. Then press at stage change. You can see the changes. Just press here. In red color we have removed. This one also we have removed. And this one we have added. Just write one small message. And then press at commit. Now in this case, whenever author B will open this repository in Git, he can see all the changes, all the previous changes. Okay. So he'll know what you have added and removed. Okay. Author B also can commit the changes in his uh, uh, system with Git uh, program. In that case, you will be able to see what he has added and removed. Okay. So it's very simple and uh, you can use on any collaborative project. That's all. Thanks for watching.